that's um, you have a really great story. Thank you. Um, that's the reason I asked you to come here <clears throat> to Tyler and uh, give you us, the viewers. Um, I think this your story uh, is it is inspirational. Um, it could turn, it could be one of those lifetime movies that you sitting there bawling and boohooing over, but to day in and day out with two teenage boys, with two fur babies, with a job, with church, with being a, a single woman. Are, are you single? I am single. Okay, so fellas, hey. <laughs> um, and then on top of that, uh, being a city councilwoman, I think um, your story is going to impact a lot of people, and I, it's already impacted mine. I mean, I'm sitting here listening because I I'm, I have astigmatism, but I don't. I've never heard of PTC mm -hmm. up until today, um, and I'm hoping that this can bring exposure uh, along well with your profile. Because I, I mean, I mean j just think of it, how you know how far can you go? You know, you you, you are already indebted with crap that you know it's not your choice to have this disease you know what i mean uh thank you kristen um i appreciate coming to tyler to give your story uh god bless and your future endeavors and uh i appreciate you coming here to give your time do you have any any final thoughts um whatever you do in life don't stop keep going um i learned through watching my ancestors. Um, anybody who knows me know I'm a big fan of John Lewis. I'm a big fan of Maya Angelou. Um, these, I say those two people because they didn't stop. Maya Angelou had a child at a young age. Maya Angelou went through abuse. She went through um, stages of life that I can relate to, but she didn't stop. And we know Maya Angelou now has this great poet and this great author, and she left an impact on this world, not only for her family, but for young African-American women like me. Same thing with John Lewis. John Lewis fought for our right to be able to freely vote. And I was able to see through the media at that time, the abuse that they went through, um, the ridicule, the hate that they went through. And I always said when I was in school, if I was born in that time, dot, 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 I would do things differently. Well, guess what? It's 2020 and we're still back to going back to the police brutality. We're going back to um, voter suppression. We're going back to not being able to do what we want to do and tell our story. So I want to tell whoever's watching this that don't make, don't put a period where God put a comma. And I'll say that again, don't put a period on your life where God put a comma because what you want to stop doing and what you want to end, God is like, that's not, that's not it for you. You have more to do. And I realized that um, five years ago when I finally sat down and I said, God, I give it to you. It's not my way. What I'm trying to do is not working for me. I want you to, to do your job in my life, to open up my eyes and my heart and my mind to see what you want me to do, what your purpose is for my life. And by doing so, I've met people, I've experienced things, I've been places people wanted to go. Um, and I'm using this just to encourage you, do not give up, don't accept no as your final answer. Um, if you find it hard and difficult, that's for you to do. If you want to be a councilwoman or a councilman, or you want to run for a Congress or a Senate state representative, or you even want to run for president, don't stop. Keep going, no matter what anybody tells you, keep going. Will it be hard? Look at me when I say this, hell yes, it will be very, very hard. But when you are surrounded by positive people, you're put in positive atmospheres and you keep thinking positive thoughts, no matter what negative come your way, you will always, always get over it. So whatever you do in this season of your life, whether it's now, whether it's in the future, if you're thinking about running for an office, go for it. Because I'd rather fail trying and then say I try, but I fail, if that makes sense to you. I'd rather fail knowing I went after what I love and then fail knowing I never even attempted to get up and move. So don't stop, keep going. When people turn their back on you, 
That's just people. Nobody can advocate you better than you. So push, um, keep going, don't give up, don't give in, don't transform, don't conform. Be you, genuinely be you at all times. That was very, that should have been your presidential speech. <laughs> Um, I, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to do a very good job editing this and, um, I want people to really hear your story. I, I actually, I really want to, uh, make a lot of noise, especially for, um, women of color, minorities, because, uh, we're not very representative, regardless of Republican or Democrat, you know, I'm not going to get into the politics of things, but I appreciate you coming to Auto Nation, man, and, uh, God bless, and you have a, uh, great career. Thank you, hey, thank you for this opportunity. Um, we cross paths for a reason. So I thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for believing in me and for speaking up and saying that you believed in me, you were following me, you trust me with what I'm doing. And thank you for your support. I mean, this is this is small for me and small for you, but I know that your future is just as bright as mine. Thank you. Hey, if you want to hear more from Auto Nation, please make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. But don't just stop there. When you see the little bell notification, make sure you click on that and you will receive all the notifications whenever they post anything, whether it's a video, a conversation, something fun. You want to make sure that you have the notifications turned on for this channel because it's something you don't want to miss.